Assemblymember Evans. Thank you, uh, Chair. I think that it's very important, um, given the context of this debate, that we offer some reassurance to people, particularly around the issues um, of the neighbourhood teams, the safer neighbourhood teams, because uh, the message which is being put around by the opposition is that somehow policing at local level is going to be denuded because of this. In fact, we know, looking at the numbers, that policing is actually going to be strengthened mm. at local level with the devolution of more officers to boroughs. Yes, there won't be the same dedicated safer neighbourhood teams for each ward that there were before of six people. But in fact, uh, those, uh, those <laughs> six officers and those neighbourhood teams were very rarely all there anyway. <clears throat> very often, as the Commissioner points out, those people were abstracted to, work, to do work elsewhere. And, in fact, as the opposition themselves have been pointing out over the last couple of years, uh, PCSOs in those teams have been missing because they've been promoted to become police officers. The new structure will give the Met Police an opportunity to be able to move officers around between those wards <laughs> and to apply them uh, to <coughs> situations which, uh, which require their, uh, their manpower. And that will be a help to our local police, and it will be an improvement in responding to the public and reducing crime. Uh, for example, a greater level of detection is actually going to happen at local level now. So instead of having your neighbourhood team uh, report the crime and visit initially, the, the people who carry out the detection work will actually be working with neighbourhood teams as well. So they will be much closer to the... Uh, the the public and the place where the crime is committed and they'll be able to build up really valuable intelligence locally and that will be a huge improvement to the detection of crime and the pursuit of criminals in London. Um, also, they will be able to do much more enforcement and in fact they're doing it now. I was uh, out on Friday in Elm Park in my constituency and I saw the local neighbourhood team there. They were busy doing an exercise which involved uh, cracking down on unlicensed vehicles and, uh, and, and getting criminals off the roads. And they tell me that they carry out an exercise like that now once a week, and they're delighted to do it. They're really pleased to be out there actually catching criminals and reducing crime rather than, uh, than parading around as they were before um, with the larger, uh, the larger teams. So, so there are many things about this proposal which are good and, uh, and which are strong. Now, on the subject of... Uh, police stations and counter closures. I'm pleased that Caroline acknowledged the petitions that I presented. Um, indeed, I've done more than that. I have, uh, as you will know, asked the Mayor questions in public about the future of uh, Wanstead Police Station on my patch. And I've had meetings with MOPAC to uh, discuss the situation as well. Indeed, it was raised at a policing consultation meeting that we had in Redbridge, I have to say the best attended meeting that they've had so far in any borough in London. And, uh, and the concerns were made clear, and I hope still that the Met will realise that there's a problem there and revise some of those local plans. But to say that to the Met is completely different, completely different from asking me or any other member of this Assembly to support a budget that doesn't add up and that damages policing across the whole of London. And that would be grossly irresponsible to, to do. I have to say at that consultation meeting in Redbridge, probably the most popular uh, suggestion we had actually came from the deputy leader of the Labour group locally. He said, and we've heard it again this morning, he said if the mayor uh, was only to freeze council tax, the amount of money they saved would enable us to save Wanstead Police Station and uh, Woodford Police Station. Um, and he's got a point. He's, uh, he's right, but the problem is that the Labour Party are going around saying it in every constituency around London. And the money just doesn't add up when you promise to save all of those, those police stations. So it's an unrealistic promise, and, uh, and, and it's a deception being played out on London. So I understand the need for opposition members to, uh, to fight these cases, and there's a role in democracy for people to, uh, to fight these cases. But, what we shouldn't be doing is holding out false hopes to people that we can save everything everywhere just at the, uh, the cost of saving seven pence a week because that is not the, uh, the situation. And uh, one, of the, uh, one of the greatest uh, pressures that our police force are laboring under at the moment is actually the reduction in government grant. And I think it's particularly hypocritical of Liberal Democrat members here 
to go down to Eastleigh and campaign for people to be members and ministers in that government, and then to come here and pretend that it's got nothing to do with them yeah. and that uh, it's, all, it's all the mayor's fault. It really is disgraceful behaviour, and that, Madam Chairman, is why I will not be supporting this, emo this motion, and why I honestly appeal to anyone of good conscience in this chamber not to support this motion either. Yeah.